Hi guys, this is a short live coding session and I'm going to be drawing an eyeball which is the logo for our new project that we called Beauty Pie. And the very first thing I'm gonna do is to use some noise to draw some pixels in different colors and for that I need first a domain. So I'm gonna take the pixel positions, call them Q and remap it into P, so it goes from negative 1 to 1 as we move from one side of the screen to the other. So now I take this P and I use it to fit the noise function and of course use the noise value to create some color, which for now I will make just a shade of grey. There we go, perfect. Um, of course I can change the frequency of the noise in order to compress all the details but I'm keeping it at 1 for now, I think. Mm. The background, it's too bright, so I'm not sure you guys are gonna see any of the text that I'm writing. So I will make the left part of the screen darker with this smooth step here, which takes the X component of the pixel coordinates and use it to create a ramp, which I will use to modulate the final pixel color. Yay! Everything seems to be working. Um, let's change some frequencies here to double check. Indeed, everything seems to be working just fine. So it's time to move on and do some FBM, which stands for Fractional Brownian Motion. So I'm going to start by doing F equals zero and adding one octave of noise, which I make 0.5 in amplitude and one in frequency, that's P. Next, I multiply P by 2 or something close to 2, so that next time I call noise, I have twice the frequency. Now, 0 0.25 on amplitude for the next call, noise of P, and again P times something close to 2. Third octave has amplitude 0 0.125 there. I multiply by noise of P, and let's increase the frequency by 2 again. There and last octave plus equals 0 dot, oh sorry, 6, 25 times noise of P, multiply P by 2 again, and I'm aligning all these numbers here so that when I add them all together to normalize F, it's easier. Let's do it. So we got a 5 here, and 5 and 2, that's 7, and then there is a 3, and then 9. So we just have to return F, and we are done. So let's see, if I replace noise by FBM and I decrease the frequency, yeah, I get the classic cloudy shape. Now I'm going to try to improve the quality of the FBM, although it looks pretty okay to me already, but let's do it anyway. So for that I'm introducing this matrix, which is a rotation matrix. Actually these numbers 0, 06 and 0, 08 are proportional to the sides of a right triangle, so this is gonna rotate every octave by 36 dot something degrees. Okay, so let's start with the real thing. Uh, removing FBM here, uh, I think I'm going to make the background white, and to start making the shape of the eyeball I will be drawing a circle in polar coordinates, so R is gonna be the distance of every pixel to the center of the screen, and A is going to be the arc tangent of the Y divided by the X for that pixel. So now let's select all the pixels which are less than 0 0.8 units apart from the center of the screen. And we are gonna give them some sort of greenish blue color. And see what... oops! Okay, this is not a circle, and that's because the aspect ratio of the domain is not correct, so let's fix it by multiplying p.x by the width and dividing it by the height of the screen. Yay, perfect. Now, let's move the circle to the right of the screen. Good. So this blue color is going to be kind of the base color of the eye and it's probably a good idea to change that to have some color variation because that will make it look less flat. One way to do it would be to use an FBM function and use it to mix between the current blue color and some sort of greenish color. Actually this idea of mixing the current color with some new color, quite like in Photoshop layers, is really really useful and I use it all the time. So I just increased the frequency of the FBM by 5 to make the green-blue pattern more visible. 
So next, before this looks like an actual eyeball, we should probably add already the dark circle in the center of the eye. My way to do it would be to take the distance of every pixel to the center of the eye and smooth step it between 0.2 and 0.3 to create a ramp and use that to scale the colors down to black. But I want a sharper transition, so I'm gonna make that 0.3 smaller. Next thing, I'm gonna smooth step the distance again to the center in order to create some sort of yellow area. So smooth step between 0.2 and 0.5 of the radius. Well, actually one minus smooth step so that I can keep the new color on the right side of the mix. Uh, the right side of the mix is gonna be some sort of yellow. Um, just like this and see how that looks like. To reddish probably, I will add a bit more green. Nice, so what else? Um, so what about some white fibers? I'm going to do that by mixing the current color with white and do that based on a pattern F, which is going to be an FBM. But instead of using P, I'm going to use polar coordinates, radius and angle. Now, I probably want to compress this pattern. So let's make 20 frequency for the angle and let's put five for the radius. That's pretty okay. Uh, a bit more for the radius, perhaps. Six, that's just right. Next, I'm gonna change the contrast of that pattern by smooth stepping it a little bit. Oh, that's too much. Let's put it back to 1.0 here. And um, let me think, 0 0.3 here. Um, yeah, not bad, looks okay -ish. Let's now add some more detail to the drawing by doing more patterns. In this case, I'm gonna go for some black pattern. And for now, I'm gonna just be pretty much copying the same thing I did for the white fibers. So I will change just the frequencies of the FBM so that the two patterns don't completely overlap. Right after that, I will be using F to modulate the color. I will make it darker and that's why I multiply it by F. And this is not working. Okay, I'm missing a comma here. And what else is there? Oh yeah, here. This is too dark, of course. So let's invert the pattern. And I'm also not happy with the shape. Um, so what if I change the frequency for the angle and I make it 15 and I tweak it for the radius too and I make it 10. Now I just need less black area, so I'm changing that 0 0.3 to 0 0.4. But I want the blacks to be darker, so I'm making this one 0 0.9. Now, time to add some volume effect to the eyeball. So I will multiply the color by black only on the edges of the eyeball. So again, smooth step of radius, and that's... Oh, I have to invert it. So 1 minus F down here, for example. And because that's too dark, 0, 05. And I think I want to tweak the shaping of this gradient. So let's make this one 0, 06. And I'm also making the old black pattern a little bit brighter. Hmm, it actually doesn't look any bad. Okay, um, I'm trying now to fix the edges of the circle, which look very aliased. Um, for that, I'm gonna take a smooth step of the radius again, and everything that is close enough to the border, which is 0 0.8, will become white. By the way, I'm so sorry that I'm um, typing this slow today. The thing is, I have a new computer with a new keyboard, and I'm still getting used to it. Okay, let's move on. Uh, we are almost there, actually. I'm just going to do some... Um, modifications to the patterns here and I'm gonna do that by applying some domain distortion. In this case I'm changing the angle with some FBM. That deforms all the patterns that we already made and of course I can change the frequency to be 20 or 10 or 5 which looks pretty cool but it's not what we want so I'm gonna change the amplitude here make it smaller and then the frequency again and then well basically you play around until you find the look you are after. So this is how it looks like with and without the deformation. So this type of domain deformations, I think it really helps to, to make things look organic and natural. Cool. I think we need only just uh, one more thing to make this look like an eye. And that's going to be some sort of fake reflection. So let's do that by adding some white color represented by F here. 
So let's make f the distance from every pixel p to the center of the reflection, which I'm gonna put to 0 0.3 units to the right and 0 0.3 units above the x-axis too. And oops, that's a minus of course. And this is weird, I don't see anything on the screen. So what if I move the reflection to 0 0.1 here? Nope, nothing yet. What about smooth stepping it? Oops, it's here. I have to add f to the color, of course. So back to the smooth step, 0, 0.0 and 0 0.2 create something which is really bright. Looks like we should be inverting that and so let's do one minus smooth step and hey, that looks pretty cool. But I think I want that reflection bigger. So what about moving it to the right a little bit to make room for it? And then coming back to the smooth step and changing that 0.2 to 0.6 or 0.5 and actually that looks pretty cool, just that I want that to be a bit yellowish, I guess. And what about making it softer, like 0 0.5? No, that's too soft. So back to 0 0.9. Hmm, that looks just right to me. Okay, we are done. Um, I guess now we can go for some animation and move the eye a little bit or do something interesting with it. So what about going up here and trying to change the size? So radius times animation. Animation is going to be something around 1. And then we can add a 10% of some animation. Um, so 0 0.1 times SS. And for SS I'm going to go with a sinus function as usual. So SS equals a half plus a half of sinus of time. And that should create some nice animation. It's a bit creepy, actually. And so what about trying to make it even creepier? I think that would be very cool. Hmm. So let me think. Um, I think we could try to make the scale factor non-uniform. Something that depends on the radius, for example, so different parts of the eye move differently. And I'm changing the speed of the animation too, so we actually see something. Let's try 4 and 8, okay. And now 1 minus radius, and hey, I love it. It can't get any creepier than this, I think. So we set the speed back to 1, and I think we are pretty much done. This is our eye with some colors, reflections, and animation. Mm, let's put the eye back in the center of the screen and make the background white again, so float background equals 1, and remove the text, and uh, that's it, this is our beautiful eye.